it's time for a Blu-ray update video. Woo! And so for this video, I've got quite a lot of good Blu-rays, quite a lot of good deals. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I mean, look at this awesomeness that you'll see right here. So I think we should try and get started here. Now, the first one is obviously like the big one of this update, and that is the Indiana Jones. Blu-ray collection, all four films, you know, and I'll sort of be honest, I wasn't really sort of a fan of Indiana Jones, didn't really sort of get into it when I was young, but I bought it and I thought, might as well try and get into it and watch it, absolutely love it. Temple of Doom is my favourite, and of course the, my least favourite is King of the Con Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but I've got to say, this is actually really, really good, and if you just show, like, it just sort of slips out and as you see, like, it's you know, you see quite a lot of good sort of art, artwork or like that, and it sort of folds off, you know, kind of like this, and yeah, like it's, I think it's a really good collection, and um, I will personally say if any of you are Indiana Jones fans, like huge fans and whatnot, I'd probably try and get this before the they re-release it in Blu-ray and it'll just be like a stand like standalones and it's not gonna it's not gonna look good to be honest. There was also another one I saw, it was more of a like a really big collector's edition, it cost a lot more than this. And I wasn't really that huge a fan so I didn't get it, but I'd probably say if you want to get Indiana Jones, I'd say pick this up and you'll actually have E Blast. Got some free sort of steelbooks I sort of bought, you know, since the last video, and one of them just came out today and it's one of my like this is like my t my favorite film of all time like the best film I love right nothing wrong with this film and that is the Shawshank Redemption I completely love this film and I love the steelbook for this this is actually a really good steelbook I mean look the front here is the infamous shot of when Andrew Dufresne actually is free from prison but also we get the back, it's like inside the prison and uh, it's pretty damn cool. It's all, it comes with like DVDs but it's quite interesting so when you open it up um, like first off there you go like you see the you like sort of discs and I think, if you, I think there's like three DVD, like DVD discs which is quite surprising well, I think it's like, well it says there's like three DVDs so um, there's nothing really sort of like like on the back but what was inside of it as well is you get these kind of like sort of pictures. So we get sort of this one, and you got the sort of the back cover of it. Um, you know this nice wee infamous shot. But my favourite one is actually this one, which I think is like the best favourite. And I'm going to try and frame this one. The next two are these two players I came across when I was just like window shopping. I was in um, sort of a big sort of chain store. Just looking around, looking at the summer release, and I saw it at this price. It was like they were for five pounds each. Steelbook, right? One of them's a double play, right? And I was like, I've got to have this. I got it because the standard edition of one of them, right, cost like twenty pounds. That is fifteen pounds more than the steelbook. That is, I got War Horse, awesome film, and. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties, the blue, the double play of this. Um, I've got to say, I do like this film. I think it's really good, but it's nowhere near as good as the first one, and probably better than the second Pirates of the Caribbean film, but not as good as the third. And I watched this, and this is just such an emotional film. I mean, you see this horse go, you know, through so many people and how. It kind of influenced like these people sort of sort of lives around the sort of war. And yeah, I think it's really, really cool. Now the next Blu ray is a film that came out this year. I you know I quite liked it, I thought it was really good. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna buy it or not, but I saw it, like the sort of the Blu-ray for it, and there was like another there was another sort of version where you get the 3D edition, and yeah, that is why I got the 3D edition of Prometheus. Um I've not sat down and watched this yet. I've not seen the alternative, you know, opening or ending, but I thought I gotta get this, like, I gotta get it while it's cheap, while it's, you know, probably good, maybe later it'll cost a lot of money, um, but I can't wait to watch it. I think it needs to be, 
I need to be in the mood for it. I need to sort of sit down, watch it completely. Um, it has to be one of these sort of like event sort of things I got to watch. Kind of like Inception. The next one I got, I bought it off um, Amazon. I wanted this edition alone and it's the Sucker Punch Triple Play edition. Uh, sadly, I missed out on the digital copy, which is a, quite a gutter, but still, I got the DVD copy as well, so, you know, no harm in that, but, um, I like this film, it's, I, I will say, right, the, the look of the film is utterly stunning, the soundtrack is amazing, like, one of the, like, this film is just a Blu-ray purchase alone for the soundtrack, um, the story is a bit, Naff and the acting's not really that good, very corny, you know, not really livening up a little bit. But again, this is really good to look at, soundtrack amazing. I do like this film, I like it, like, I don't love it, but I do appreciate it, and yeah, it's, it's pretty good, Snack Cider. He's a really good visual director, and so I think if he had a little help with the writing, probably could have helped, you know, save this film. I have one more film left to show you. And it's one of those like saving the best for last because truly this is like the greatest film ever. It's Pulp Fiction on Blu-ray and yeah I absolutely love it. Um, again I haven't seen this film since I bought it on Blu-ray but I was kind of like in the mood for it. Like I was looking around trying to find this on Blu-ray. I found it, I bought it and I was blown away by it. I completely love it. I like how there's like there's stories and not just one big sort of film and I like how some of them you know intertwine with one another which is pretty cool. Um, I think John Travolta was amazing in it. Surprisingly Bruce Wells was okay in it. Like, I don't think it was really that good. Um, Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson to be honest. Uh, Uma Thurman, she's alright you know. Not, you know. Again she's not really you know, nothing special, but yeah, she was still like, pretty awesome. But I, I think Quentin Tarantino is a really good director, and this is by far shows how much he is such a good director. And so yes, that's all that done now for this episode. Um, probably the next one won't be until about a month's time. Yeah, it's like there's nothing really sort of good coming out, and I'm trying to not buy as much Blu-rays now because you know Christmas is coming up, and I want to kind of save some of it, you know, for when I open it as a Christmas present. But anyway, I'll see you next month for another Brutally Update video, but I'll see you there and there with some videos coming along the way.